the guns in parking lots uh, legislation. You know, can you be specific about what issues you have with that? Well, I mean, again, I think what we said before is we felt like it was overly broad in terms of it covered all parking lots everywhere, regardless of you know whether it was at a school or other things. I think it's uh, again from what what I would prefer to see happen. I think what uh, most businesses and a lot of Tennesseans would prefer. It just feels overly broad the way it's drawn right now. So, do you want to take like public parking, like uh, schools and colleges, out of there? Like, what do you want to well, see? Well, I, I mean, I don't know that I've gotten to the, the specific level of saying what all should be in and what should be out. I haven't thought, I haven't done the, the hard work of thinking through all the different circumstances. It just felt like in its present incarnation, it feels a little broad. You had said in the early campaign that you were okay with the, the concept uh, of guns and parking lots, but you've also said you didn't want to see that legislation come up this year because you want other things to do. Uh, do you think it's inevitable at this point that you'll have a bill coming across your desk and then what will you do if you get one? Yeah, I, I mean, I, th I think there's a discussion toward that, uh, toward, uh, toward a bill there that I, I, my sense is it will come to us. Like I said, that, that's why our concern was maybe about the breadth of what was covered before. Uh, we're working through the specifics of what that might look like. Groups like this, Tennessee Hospitality Association has a, a vested interest and has an opinion, a, a opinion about that. So we're trying to balance the, the interests of business with those folks who would, who would like to carry um, and to keep, uh, to keep the gun locked in their car. Like I said, I, my, my sense is there will be a bill that, that does make it, for, make it through. Is this a case of sort of two steps forward, one step back. I mean, the bill that was introduced was for college campuses and, and, and schools and anything, government operations, and then you step back and make it just to the bill as it originally was, which was, of course, vehemently opposed by, by FedEx and others. Uh, so, yeah, it's less yeah. less bad than what it would have been, but you're still left with something that is undesirable to a pretty key constituency. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's why we're having a uh, conversation with those businesses to see, you know, what 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 can you all accept for your businesses. Um, and again, a lot of government is that it's about getting the balance right. Uh, and this is one of those cases where you have property interests versus gun right interests, uh, both of which uh, people in my party take very very seriously. Uh, and we're trying to find find the right balance there.